Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at My Security Shield. Now, My Security Shield is a rogue antivirus client. It is fake. It's the virus itself. It's related to a Security Master AV, Virus Doctor, uh, My Security Engine. It, it, it's a, a revamp of a fake security client that's been around for about two years now, and they just keep basically renaming it and reinfecting computer users. And a lot of people may think that this is legitimate. I mean, it has, you know, activated your ultimate protection it looks fairly well put together and uh, um, here's just an image of some of the scan results that you have now everything that it finds here is fake and basically they're just trying to get you to make a purchase of the security client and they hold your computer ransom you'll have trouble going to websites uh, you'll have trouble uh, running antivirus software on here many people notice that the, their their uh, task manager is disabled now I'm on a Windows 7 computer here um, this will work the exact same on a Windows Vista computer and if it's XP it's going to be very basically the same, just a few different file paths, but you still should be able to plug it in and figure it out. And if you have questions, feel free and ask them on the removevirus.org website under the uh, My Security Shield uh, removal guide. Now we're going to also have the uh, manual traces there and any updates. Uh, and chances are this file, uh, the files and everything we go over here will mutate and change over time. So for the latest information, head on over to the removevirus.org website and check that out. Now, one of the first things we need to do is actually stop this client from running. And so I'm going to go ahead and close this down. If we look here in the system tray, you're going to notice something else running too. Let me pop that up. You're going to notice the security shield. And you're going to get warnings that pop up out of here too as well um, that, that come on. You also hear that swine. And, and the first time that swine came up, like two years ago, I was, I was doing a video. And yeah, I, I, it actually took me by surprise. I spilled coffee all over myself. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But I, I got used to it now. Uh, most people are going to notice that they're going to have the My Security Shield um, icon on their desktop, and you'll also be able to locate it oftentimes under the Start menu. You should see the My Security Shield there too, and that's actually a good thing. And the reason why it's a good thing is because I'm going to be able to right-click on it, and you can hit just hit Open File Location, or you can go down and select Properties. I'm going to go ahead and select Properties. It's at the bottom there just for the purposes of this video. Now this is the, the key point right here. So it's going to show me their actual folder where this executable is at. Now this executable here is the one that's actually running this My Security Shield. So we're going to actually rename that process and stop this uh, virus dead in its track. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this file path program data backslash C68 EAA and do expect that to change over time though that file name but for the most part it's going to be in the program data folder um, on uh, Vista and uh, Windows 7 computers for XP computers just head on over to the manual guide and we'll have it listed there too as well so I'm just going to open up a uh, let me do that again I did it a little fast for you guys I'm going to go down here to the start menu start computer I'm just going to go ahead and click up here I'm going to paste that in there and that's the folder location and everything in here we're going to be able to delete and let me see there was a registry key entry in here but it looks like it was already uh, um, put into the registry and that's what uh, caused the uh, task manager to become disabled and the like some of you may not have it uh, disabled yet if you don't you can hit control shift escape and bring up the task manager and then just terminate this process that's running and then you'll be able to delete it for the rest of us out there you're gonna to have to go on it and go ahead and rename it. Rename it to anything you want. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to rename this image too. It's an ICO file. It doesn't matter. That, that, that's just an image is all that is. So it doesn't matter. But we rename the main executable. And now once we reboot our computer, uh, this should not be running anymore. And we should be able to go in here and delete everything in here. So technically right now I should be able to delete just about everything in here. Delete. Okay, I can't re delete that process, the executable, because it's running right now, which I already knew. And I can't delete these uh, DLLs because they're uh, in conjunction with this executable. But upon reboot, I should be able to delete those. Now, if you wanted to just browse down to the program data folder, if we went under C drive, you're not going to see the program data folder there. If you do want to see it, you're going to have to go to Start open up your control panel and basically we're going to have to unhide system files so we'll go to hidden then you 
you're going to see show hidden files and folders I'm going to click on that it's going to bring this up for me I'm going to show hidden files and folders click that dialog box and then on here I'm going to uncheck the hide protected system files now you want to go back and rechange these settings around but for now I need to show them and once I show it I will now see the program data folder and I'll now see this in here. Now you're going to look at, at uh, if it may not be named the, six, the C68EAA, but it'll be something very, very similar. So if you go into the program data folder there and look through here, you sh everything in here, all the folders for the most part makes sense. So when you look at something and it just makes complete jippery goop and it's a hidden folder. See how it's a uh, lighter there than the rest of the folders in here? That should be a dead giveaway for you there too as well. So let me go ahead and reboot and then we'll see if we can't just delete this uh, uh, executable file for us. But before I do that, I want to show you guys one other trick here because if that's not working for you, here's another one that could help you out too. So I'm going to go to the start, the run menu, I'm going to type ms config. Yes. I hit yes there because the UAC got turned on again. I'm going to go under startup and under startup here I'm going to look under the files or folders I should say and this should help give it a weight for you too as well. If we're going to look here you're going to notice there it says my security shield. Well over here is where it gives the path. So if you already deleted the icon on your desktop or you're not finding it on the program data folder and pulling your hair out you can bring this up too and it's under the startup tab and just look for the my security shield and where it says my security shield you're gonna be able to see that full path and there's a squeal I was talking about <laughs> as you can see you can see why it can scare you the first time it comes up so uh, don't be embarrassed if you do get get startled by it because I sure did <laughs> let me go ahead and uncheck this on my security shield and by unchecking it it's gonna stop it from starting up on me so I'm gonna hit OK alright so I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my computer by reboot I mean turn it off turn it back on and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so we went ahead and re rebooted the computer and now I'm in here. I actually uh, did delete already one of the LLL, DLL files. I was just um, got ahead of myself here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the rest of the files that were there. Right click, delete, boom. So now um, under the program data folder, I'm now going to delete this uh, folder that was there and we'll notice that, that at this point in time uh, most of this threat has been deleted already. There's just some icons and a few leftover uh, traces of this threat, but it's not not uh, uh, posing um, any issues right now for us. Delete, yes. At this point in time, you will be able to download and run security clients. You should be able to surf the web again. Um, if you can't surf the web yet, um, I recommend you check out our how-to guides. We've got a few guides on there if you're still having troubles uh, connecting to the Internet or if you're having troubles uh, being redirected still. Um, check out our how-to guides. At this point in time, it's very important that you run a full security scan of your computer. We recommend Spyware Doctor with antivirus. Um, with that, it does have a 30-day free trial, but it's a limited trial. It will not remove any viruses on your computer, but still, it's one of the, the, the uh, clients I trust the most out there. And if you're still infected with something, it's going to pick it up, and it's, uh, you'll at least know. And from that point, you can make the decision where to purchase that client or just to manually delete what traces it finds and that's something you can do too with that client because it shows you exactly where those files are located now for those of you who are have the uh, task manager still disabled if you hit control shift escape you, that may still be disabled on you and if that's disabled um, you might just have your registry key uh, for the task manager has been changed by this program now once you're in the registry you will be able to uh, go ahead and bring up the um, msconfig again type in for the uh, startup menu again that's going to be here just type in msconfig yes and it's going to bring this box up for you just go under startup and under the my security shield you're going to be able to see the actual location HK current user software Microsoft Windows current version run and this file um, should technically be listed underneath there. If it's not listed underneath the current user, it may just be under the local machine or um, HQ users. It just depends. This isn't always exact right here because it can be in multiple locations. You can also try doing a search for my security shield in there too as well. We're not going to dive too much into it because I 
do not believe that anybody should go into the registry and 